guys, Lana Moore here. I'm back with another video. Hello, Sunshine Squad. Welcome. I know. I know. I haven't been here in a minute. And I just want to say welcome to the new Sunshiners who joined us over the two months that I've been gone. Um, yes, welcome to the channel. Um, so today's look is going to be a makeup tutorial. I know. I have not filmed a, like, look. I feel like a makeup tutorial in, like, I mean, you could say two months, but then the look that I posted two months ago wasn't really that, like, like this. I feel like I haven't recorded something like this since, like, 2020. <laughs> So it, I'm in the summer blues, as you see, and I wanted to use my um, Lisa Frank palette that I had got a month ago. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into this tutorial. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next clip. Toodles! Hey y'all, so we go ahead and we're going into this tutorial, jumping right in, and I'm coming at you from voiceover. Wow, I have not done a voiceover in so long, but let's not get distracted here. So I am taking, um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm using the Lisa Frank palette by Morphe, and the color I'm going in with is that darkish blue color called Takani in the palette i am taking it on the elf blending brush and then i use my just up blending brush just to kind of deepen it up first and then i am now taking the color angel kitty to also blend in the crease so it's just a seamless blend when i top it off with that going in with that angel kitty color again afterwards and then this part that you see me kind of panicking because i realized i forgot to prime my lids <laughs> So I just went ahead and added that primer so that the blue could pop because I really wanted that blue to be the showcase of this look. To be honest with you, I wanted to make it pop. Like I wanted it to be bright. I was just feeling very bright this day. So yes, definitely. And like I said, I'm going in with that Angel Kitty color on a flat brush. I think that's a flat concealer brush. I'm not sure I have that brush. I got that brush years ago, so I really do not remember <laughs> what the brush name is. But obviously, use a brush that's similar to the one I'm using, yes. But I do know that one is the e.l.f. blending brush, so yes, I do know that one. Also, you saw me flash a photo that of the look I was doing. It's actually a look I created years ago, like way years ago. If you guys remember when my channel was the Fashion Makeup Chick, yeah, that's when I created that look. Um, I created it using, I think, the BH Cosmetics, uh, I think it was the Take Me to Brazil palette, and it was more of a pastel blue color because I originally um, thought of the look for the springtime, and I was thinking spring, pastels, you know, pastel yellows and things, things like that, and then I'm like, no, I want something bright. You can still honestly rock this look in the springtime, especially if you want to have those like bright colors, or you can rock it in the spring, um, the summer, I mean. So it's just honestly up to you. And I'm referencing the photo as I do the look. So now I am taking the Kiss Lash and Liner Glue. Yes, I am applying that on my eyelid. Um, you can see me here. And also the next clip, you're going to see me apply the lashes right away. Keep in mind, this is my second time using this product, so like I'm still getting used to it and kind of learning it. I didn't watch many reviews, and normally I watch a lot of reviews about products before I kind of purchase them, but I knew that already I wanted to try the product. But yeah, I didn't watch a lot of reviews to like know like if you can wait like a few seconds before applying it and stuff, so yeah. We're still getting used to this product, but so far I do like it because um, it pops on my lashes much faster. And the only reason why I said that, because I am gonna go in with this glitter liner, which is by Onus Beauty. It's a brand I discovered off of Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description box. Um, yeah, to line my lids above it to match the picture. And I kept getting glitter on the lashes as to why I was like, okay, I need to maybe do this look again to see if I could apply the glitter first and then pop on the lashes. It's trial and error, trial and error, but yeah. All the products I use in this video, I'll definitely leave them down in the description box below, of course, as always, with the corresponding links. And now I'm 
taking the color Sunflower in that same Lisa Frank Morphe palette and lower, um, putting it on my lower lash line on top of that e.l.f. concealer that I was applying there at first. Yeah, I'm just going in and just blending it there, just blending it, blending it, blending it. Yes, I really love how this look came out, to be honest with you. And also, I went ahead and applied my foundation and stuff. As you see, I'm already in a full face off camera because I wanted this look to honestly be, um, I wanted the eyes to be the focus of this look. I didn't want to make this video too long because, yeah, I want... It's literally, like I said, I want the eyes to be the star of it. So next I am applying the Maybelline Mascara in Sky High, y'all. You don't know how long it took me to get this mascara. It's not even funny, but now that I have it, I do have my thoughts on it, but I don't want to go into it in this video. But yeah, I'm just applying as many coats as I want because I want my lashes at the bottom to kind of pop. And also the lashes I picked, they're more on the fluffier side. Um, if you want a more wispier lash, definitely opt out and do a wispier lash. It's honestly up to you because when I did create this look the first time, well the second, this is like my third time doing this look to be honest with you, I did do a wispy lash and it also looked nice. And the lipstick I'm using as you see is the lipstick by MAC, it's a soft kiss lipstick and it's in the color Reverence also. You can just leave the pink there if you want like that pink nude that you see. Me personally, I was going for a pinkish brown nude as to why you kind of see me adjusting the color to my liking. And you honestly can do the same. Just adjust it to your liking. So I keep kind of going in to get my desired nude that I want. And I was kind of frustrated because my lip liner fell, but that's enough. We're not even gonna talk about that right now, but yes. <laughs> and. I went over it again with the liner just because I said I want a pinky brown nude and then I'm going to apply um, towards the end I am going to apply a lip gloss by Dose of Colors and yeah I hope you enjoyed this voiceover and at the end go ahead and enjoy the slow-mos. Toodles!